Number 47. How long would it take to reduce one mole of each of the following ions using the current indicated? So then we have chromium ion, so in this case it's Cr5+, plus, with a current of 37.45 amps. So just know that whenever you see a capital A, that's amps, and or, you know, amp year, but this is a type of current. So capital A goes with the current, but if this is a little bit even more confusing, just know that in your chemistry formulas, a current is always a capital I value. So we have three different things going on here. We see capital A, that means amps. That's a type of current, but in your formulas, we know that as I. So we have an I value here. And they're asking for how long is something going to take? When you ask you know, somebody how long is the movie, you're asking for a duration of time. So in this case, we're looking for a time, which is lowercase t. And they did tell us that we have one mole of the chromium phi plus, so I have somewhat of an n value. So what's the formula that links time with current? So a T with an I, an N value if we're talking about moles. Well, that's this formula right here. Make it a little bit bigger. And I just manipulated this formula to get T equals, but technically you could have gotten N equals or I equals if you just rearrange the formula. So time is going to equal N times F divided by I. Now we already just saw that I is the current and that's the 37.45 amps here. F is Faraday's constant. It's always a constant value, 96,485. So that just comes with the formula. Coulomb per mole, if you wanna know those units. And now we have to know the N value. Now, since we're talking about electrolysis, we're talking about redox reactions, oxidation reduction, cathode, anode, N has to tell me specifically the number of moles of electrons that are being used, not just the atom. So I gotta go a little bit deeper. I need those moles of electrons. The only thing that they told us here was that we had one mole of Cr5+. But this one mole is telling me how many chromiums I have, not how many electrons. But that answer comes in the upper right-hand corner. For every one mole of chromium, how many electrons were either gained or lost? Well, the plus, remember, means that you lost electrons, and the five tells me that I lost five electrons. That's the n value. So I'm not worried about this number. I need to know specifically what those electrons are. So in this case, the N is five, five electrons. So that's my N value. And now we're ready to solve. So T equals, let's put the two parentheses up top here. And I'll start with 96,500, well, 96,485, if we're being a little bit more specific. I got 37.45 and I have uh, five number of moles of electrons. Let's just plug it in. Five times 96,485 divided by 37, whoop, 37.45. Yeah, that looks good to me. Let's press answer. And sig figs, we're going to go with four sig figs here because the one mole is just a counting number. So that doesn't get counted. So I'm gonna say this is 1.288. There's your four sig figs times 10 to the one, two, three, four. And this unit, if we're using the formula, it's coming out directly in seconds. Now, since they didn't say, you know, how long is it in minutes or in hours, I'm gonna keep it as the seconds, but just know that you could always convert from seconds to minutes by dividing by 60. And if you need it in hours, you divide it again by 60 to get your hours. So in this case, if I just take my answer, I divide it by 60, I get roughly 214 minutes. And if I just do it one more time, I get my hours. So like three and a half hours. 
And that is your final answer. So pick the unit that you want to give your answer in. Okay? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much. I appreciate all you guys, and I hope you are having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard, and let's keep learning. All right? I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And thanks so much for being part of this community. I really love reading your comments. That's all coming in, telling us how, you know, how great this channel is. So I'm, I'm really glad that, you know, my brother and I, we can help you guys in your classes. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. All right? We'll keep producing videos. You keep learning. Can't get any better than that. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.